Caution, risk of fire, do not install insulation within three inches. Uh, today we're going to put in one of these remodeling lights. This is when you've got your sheetrock up, it's finished. You put the wire about where you want it. Well, it really, it's got to be pretty much exactly where you want it. And then, uh, of course, we're going to say that it's over here because this is right next. Well, we'll just go ahead and put it right here. No, no, we'll, we're going to put it over here. And so you've got this template that comes with this, and this template is for this light. Now some of them are 4 inch like this one and some of them are 6 inch. Well don't just assume that the hole is 6 inches and get your whole 6 inch hole saw and cut it. It's just a hair under 6 inches. And so once you get to figure out where you want your, your light, figure out where the center is going to be. And now this has got to be pretty precise. And what you do is you get your wires through here. We're not going to wire it up up here. I'm going to show you a little bit closer view. You want to make sure these finger pulls are all the way up inside. And then just slowly but surely work this thing in there. If you've got insulation, you've got a little bit of work to do. Okay, again, make sure all your, your finger pulls are all up in there. Okay, push this up in there. And push that all the way up in there. And then push that up until it snaps. Okay, what you do is you get your screwdriver. There's a little hanging down part there that you push this in and then push it up until it lats, latches into that spot right there. But if for some reason you need to get it out, just quit your some kind of a tool that's got a hook on it. Just get you some kind of tool that's got a hook on it and reach in there. That's what that hole's for. And then you pull this up and then it unlatches that latch. And then you can take this thing back out. Is the adjustment on the, the lamp itself as you these, these four inch ones are really hard to get into. But you loosen this wing nut up and then you're able you're able to raise this up or lower it down to get your bulb at the right distance you want from the ceiling. Most people like them all the way up in there. But you can pull it up. I pull it down. This is really upside down. Once you get it where you like it, then you just tighten it. Tighten that wing nut down and you want to make sure it's good and tight. Alright, now you can come either way 
on this box. So, of course, they're all different. But you just pull this back. Get this around here, and the door, will, the door will open. Get out your three wires. They're very well marked. Got the green wire, white wire, and the black wire. Okay, of course. All right. And then once you get your wire in there on your right strain relief, just take, and these are real simple. They just plug in. Oops, on the wrong side. They have three extra slots, and all they do is cut them back, and then work that in there, it just slides in. Normally you can get them out if you make a mistake, but there again, just twist it and push it in. You want to cut them back about three quarters of an inch. When you stick them in there, you just want to make sure there's no. You want to make sure there's no bare wire coming out of your plastic wire nuts. Same thing with your white one. Take it, put it in, twist it around till it goes in. Now, if you look real close, you can see the wires all the way down to the end which means you've got a good connection. Now if you... Uh, there we go. Now you see on this one, you can't see the bare wire, so you want to make sure you push it all the way in to where now you can see the bare wire, because that means you've got a good connection. Okay, and then you've got your black wire. Same thing. Push it in. Twist it around as you push it in, and you can see your wires all the way in, in there. No uh, bare wire coming out past your, your lock nut, your connector, there we go. No, no bare wires coming past your connector, and you're ready to go.